let's talk about functional neurodiversity. What I mean by that is we have a pandemic happening in modernity where young kids that are functionally neurodiverse are trying to be funneled into archaic economic machinery positions and they don't fit. Their unique artistic expression cannot live in those old archaic roles. Yes, there are serious neural miscommunicative diseases where people struggle with just being. Now, there are many ways of providing solutions to those neural miscommunicative diseases that scientists are at the edge of what's known trying to help. But there is something seriously wrong with the way that we are trying to push functionally neurodiverse kids into positions in the economic machinery where they just do not fit. I can give you so many examples of kids that are young, around teenage or even preteen years, that are doing extremely eccentric behaviors. And these hyper unusual kids are doing things like watching dozens or even hundreds of countless hours on a very specific theme that they're interested in on the internet, on internet videos. And they're finding out that they're fascinated with that specific subject and that they will go to the ends of what is known in that subject at such a young age and they're becoming masters given their neuroplasticity and their obsession with that concept that in the span of just a week or even sometimes just a couple days they'll run up to their mom and dad interrupt them in whatever activity their parents are doing and they'll just lecture like a university professor on a very complex theory that they learn from the internet. This is very common that we have what we're classifying as functionally neurodiverse kids into the archaic codes of the economic machinery. It's up to us as a civilization to identify functional neurodiversity and those unique artistic expressions that are definitely being catalyzed by the computational generation and the internet generation and create new codes, create new infrastructures for those unique neurodiverse minds to fully express their genius in the world. This has been a public service announcement about functional neurodiversity. And I also highly encourage you to look into Eric Weinstein's thoughts and work on this subject as well. He is a huge role model for me in this field. And he's also trying to push forward people into understanding this specific dilemma that we're all going through. Build the new codes that enable these brilliant minds to fully express themselves in the world. Build the new jobs, build the new infrastructures, build the new ways that these artists can fully express their genius in the world. Because we don't even know how many kids were nuking with drugs when really they could be fully expressing themselves and their genius on updating society's code for the highest potential.